In the heart of Saudi Arabia, a bold and ambitious project is quietly reshaping what it means to build a city. This is The Line, a 170-kilometer urban development being constructed as part of the larger NEOM initiative. But what is The Line? How far has construction progressed in 2025? And what are the challenges and realities of building a city so unlike anything the world has ever seen? The Line is not your typical city. Instead of spreading outward, it extends in one single, straight line. At 170 kilometers long, it's designed to be just 200 meters wide and 500 meters tall, with two mirrored walls on either side enclosing the entire structure. The idea is simple, create a highly efficient urban environment that can house 9 million people while minimizing its footprint on the surrounding landscape. As of 2025, construction on the line is well underway. Early groundwork began in late 2021, with excavation and preparation accelerating over the past few years. By now, large sections of the foundational framework are visible, with excavation reaching depths of up to 30 meters in some areas to lay the necessary infrastructure for the city's underground systems. The project is being developed in stages. Initial efforts have focused on key sections of the spine, the central infrastructure corridor that will carry energy, water, and transport systems. In particular, high-speed transit tunnels are a priority. Once complete, these will allow residents to travel from one end of the city to the other in just 20 minutes. This high-speed transportation is a cornerstone of the line's vision. Unlike conventional cities, there will be no cars or traditional streets here. Instead, a three-level design divides functions vertically. At ground level, residents will live, work, and spend their leisure time. Below that, a service level will handle deliveries, maintenance, and other operations. The lowest level will host the transit systems, ensuring that daily travel is quick and efficient. The design of the line incorporates advanced engineering to deal with the harsh desert environment. Its mirrored exterior not only creates an iconic appearance but also serves functional purposes. The reflective surfaces help regulate internal temperatures, reducing the need for external cooling. At the same time, the narrow width allows natural light to penetrate all levels of the city, creating a sense of openness even in a dense urban environment. Behind the scenes, thousands of engineers, architects, and planners are tackling some of the most complex challenges ever faced in urban development. For example, creating a continuous, habitable structure at such a massive scale requires innovations in construction methods, materials, and logistics. One of the key innovations being explored is modular construction. Rather than building the city piece by piece on site, large sections are being prefabricated in factories and then transported to the construction area. This approach speeds up progress and ensures consistent quality across all segments of the project. Sustainability is a major focus of the line. The city is being designed to generate its own energy from renewable sources, such as solar and wind. Vertical farming systems integrated within the walls aim to provide fresh produce locally, reducing the need for long-distance food transportation. Water recycling systems are also a key feature, allowing the city to conserve one of the region's most precious resources. Yet, despite the progress, challenges remain. Constructing a city of this scale in the middle of the desert presents logistical hurdles. Materials must be transported over long distances, and the extreme heat creates difficult working conditions for crews on site. Critics also question the feasibility of housing 9 million people in such a compact space. While the concept is bold, concerns have been raised about whether the city will truly be livable for such a large population. Issues like ventilation, waste management, and social dynamics in a vertically layered environment are still being studied. For those who eventually call the line home, life is expected to look very different from traditional city living. The city's designers envision a place where everything you need – schools, workplaces, parks, and healthcare – will be within a five-minute walk from your residence. Digital technology will play a major role in managing daily life. Sensors, artificial intelligence, and robotics will be used to monitor and optimize the city's operations, from energy use to public safety. For residents, this means a seamless, technology-driven lifestyle, but it also raises questions about privacy and reliance on automated systems. 
The line is just one part of Neom, a larger $500 billion development that serves as a cornerstone of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative. Neom is not just a city but a region, spanning over 26,500 square kilometers of land near the Red Sea. It is designed to encompass a variety of futuristic projects aimed at redefining urban planning, tourism, and industry on a global scale. One of these projects is Oxagon, a floating industrial city located along the coast of the Red Sea. Oxagon is envisioned as a hub for advanced manufacturing and research, leveraging cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, robotics, and automation. Unlike traditional industrial zones, Oxagon aims to integrate environmental sustainability into its operations, with plans to rely entirely on renewable energy. The floating design also makes it a unique engineering feat, allowing for efficient port logistics and a direct connection to global trade routes. Another major component is Trojina, a year-round mountain tourism destination set to rise in the Sarawat Mountains. Trojina promises a mix of luxury resorts, outdoor adventure facilities, and cultural attractions. It includes plans for a man-made lake, ski slopes, and eco-friendly hiking trails, all designed to attract millions of visitors annually. Beyond leisure, Trojina is also expected to host conferences and wellness retreats, blending tourism with professional and personal development opportunities. Neom also aims to innovate in sectors like healthcare, education, and entertainment. For instance, the region is planning smart clinics equipped with AI-driven diagnostics and schools focused on advanced sciences and digital skills. Neom will include vast open spaces for sports, art installations, and festivals, positioning itself as a hub for culture and creativity. Together, these projects aim to showcase what is possible when urban design, sustainability, and advanced technology intersect. Neom's ambition extends far beyond Saudi Arabia, positioning itself as a global model for future cities that prioritize both human well-being and technological innovation. However, the scale and complexity of these projects also mean that they face significant challenges in terms of execution, funding, and attracting global interest, making their progress closely watched by the world. As of 2025, the line remains in its early phases. The first residential zones are not expected to be completed for several more years, and many aspects of the city's design are still evolving. The true test will come as people begin moving in and the vision is put into practice. Whether the line becomes a model for future cities or a cautionary tale will depend on how these challenges are addressed in the coming years. What's clear is that the line represents a dramatic shift in how we think about urban development, one that could have ripple effects far beyond the borders of Saudi Arabia. In 2025, the line is still a work in progress. But it stands as a bold experiment, pushing the boundaries of architecture, engineering, and urban planning. Time will tell if this experiment will succeed, but one thing is certain, the line is a vision unlike anything humanity has ever attempted. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel for more explorations into the future of technology, engineering, and society.